Second down and seven. Fake it. On the boot. Jones throws. Touchdown. Bellinger. The Giants climb back into it. I think they got a little confused because Bynes ends up passing him off looking for someone else to cover. And the extra guy to cover Bellinger was two or three steps behind him on the play. And Jones finds him for the six. Jones five of five on the drive. Extra point. Curves through. Giants showing good fight against the Baltimore Ravens. 20 to 17 Baltimore in front. Isn't it interesting now with 6.01 to go? We've talked so much in, in about Wink Martindale, the former defense coordinator of Baltimore, now with the Giants, that this game kind of comes down to Wink Martindale's defense. It does. You know, all this conversation, the change, the move, what Wink's brought to this Giants defense, the game is essentially now in his hands. Kickoff from Gano through the back of the end zone. So let's go back to that touchdown with Bellinger because, to me, Josh Bynes gets caught in a bind. Who am I going to cover? Watch. He goes. He's got Bellinger. And then as we stop it right there, he's letting Bellinger go and looking for a second receiver. The spacing wasn't good for the Giants, but it actually worked out better because now Bynes is, which guy do I take? And he let Bellinger go, obviously choosing the wrong man. Crowd is energized. Giants have not made the playoffs since 2016. They've had three coaching changes since 2018. They've waited for competitive football. Let's see if the Ravens have an answer. Jackson. It's the tight end, Josh Oliver on the receiving end, hit by Fabian Moreau. JB, Coach Cower, NFL Today Update. Trubisky, how you like me now? Yeah, with Kenny Pickett out with a concussion, Mitch Trubisky comes in, leads Pittsburgh down, finds Chase Claypool from six yards out. They now take a 20 to 12 lead over the Tampa Bay Bucks. Back to Ian Eagle. Every week is an adventure in the NFL, unpredictable. Second and one for Baltimore. 522 to play in the fourth. Giants crowd the line. Handed off on the stutter step move by Drake. They want forward progress, and that initial it. spot looks good. Leonard Williams there defensively. Well, they're going to whistle him down at the 35-yard line. That's going to move the chains. And if you're the Giants now, anytime Lamar Jackson throws the football, the tight ends have to be covered. When was the last time he threw to a wide receiver? Didn't even look at his area. This is a tight end game, a tight end throwing pattern right now for Baltimore. If you're Wink Martindale and your crew, tight ends have to be locked down. Most passes attempted to tight ends in the league this season. Jackson will do it himself. Carries across the 40-yard line. They've been the best first down team in the NFL running the football. Six yards on that play. Four twenty and counting left in this fourth quarter. Baltimore with the football up by three. How about this offensive line for Baltimore? McCurry has come back from an injured ankle, played last week. He was supposed to be giving Ronnie Stanley relief on the left side. Morgan Moses goes out. Stanley has to go the distance, as does McCarry at right tackle. 18 targets for tight ends this afternoon. Second down and four. Play fake. Jackson. He does hit a wide receiver, Tylen Wallace. Just short of the first down. And a Dory Jackson there defensively for New York. That has to feel good for Tylen Wallace, who missed a great opportunity on Sunday night against Cincinnati. A lot of people thought that Lamar Jackson missed him wide open. I didn't think that Tylen Wallace ran the ball, ran the route the way he was supposed to. Didn't get out of the blocks fast enough. And they missed a great one. A good job there by Wallace with the pickup, making it third and very, very short. Jackson and the Ravens dealing with the crowd noise here at MetLife. This is third and one. Drake in the backfield. Tight formation. Jackson picks the opening, gets the first down, and a flag thrown.
Giants fans reacting. Giants players as well pointing in Baltimore's direction. Harbaugh wants to Getting know the formation. Call. Offense as number 79 was the end man on the line of scrimmage. Five yard penalty. Third down. And it's the Pro Bowler Ronnie Stanley called for the illegal formation. Yeah, but that's not on him. I think it was on Kenyon Drake, the running back who was out there who lined up in the wrong spot. Mark Andrews was talking to him after the play. Drake didn't line up there and put Stanley in jeopardy. So now the Ravens facing a third and six. They go empty. Oh, he lost the football. Scoops it back up. Jackson throws. Intercepted. Giants have it with Julian Love. Love weaving through. Tackled inside the 15. What a turn of events. The first interception of the season for the Giants defense. And with 2.50 to go, the Giants are in business. The ball went right by him on the snap. When Kenyon Drake was motioning back, I don't know if he distracted Lamar Jackson looking back at him, but that was a very ill-advised throw. He tried to make something happen there instead of just taking the boss, taking the medicine on that play, tried to force it downfield. Two guys in blue jerseys were there, able to make the play. Love comes out with it and puts the Giants in business deep in Baltimore's territory. But you go back to the penalty, on the third down sneak by Lamar Jackson, that's what put Baltimore in that jeopardy. Injured giant on the play. Zimenez has walked off to the sideline. Giants with a first down at the Baltimore 13, trailing 20 to 17. Barkley. Sets up as a receiver. Jones floats it. End zone. Incomplete. Slayton got a hand on it. Marlon Humphrey there defensively for Baltimore. Boy, was he in form. How about Sunday night against Cincinnati? Kind of a revenge game for him against Jamar Chase, who lit him and his secondary mates up in 2021. Held him fully in check on Sunday night. Is playing really well. Marlon Humphrey in his return. Missed the last five games last year on IR. Lamar Jackson hoping for another opportunity to atone for that interception. Second down for the Giants. 2.45 on the clock. Bar Barkley moved over. And Barkley, they'll go trickery. Jones flips it. Catch is made. Bellinger spun down at the six by Clark and Humphrey. So a little bit of chicanery. The Ravens pulled lock, up defensively. Lining right up. I, and that, that evoked memories of Notre Dame and Canoe Rockney with the old box formation shift. Third down and three. Shotgun. Hey, read a 56. They don't have to snap it here. And that's why they're going through all this, hoping to get a free one. See how much he was emphasizing all of his calls? This is the two-minute warning. Two minutes to play. In regulation. Baltimore clinging to a three. It's a third and three at the Baltimore six. Fake it. Jones. Floater. Intercepted. Flag is down. Picked off by Marcus Peters, who's running on the play. Peters down the sideline and out of bounds. Penalty marker in the back of the end zone. The Giants just stopped for a moment. And the fan reaction should tell you the story. The early indicator against Baltimore. I think it was Darius Slayton running his route where the interference is going to, the penalty is going to occur. Slayton, 86 in blue, hand fighting with Peters, and there's Peters with a hook with the right hand, and then goes against the interception. That's where the flag came in. 
Well Pass beyond the five-yard mark, too. Defense number 24. The foul occurred in the end zone. The ball will be placed at the one-yard line. Automatic first down. Watch from the backside there. Peters 24 and white. Got hands on him. Got an arm hooking. Good call by the back judge on that play. I believe that was Greg Wilson. Able to ascertain that and throw the flag. Baltimore has all three timeouts remaining. So you look at the clock. You look where the Giants are. Baltimore is going to play straight up defense here on first and goal. Handoff. Up top. Touchdown. Saquon Barkley. Airborne for the score. Giants go in front. Look at him going right over the top. Good block at the point of attack there by Bellinger, number 82. And there's Barkley hurtling into the end zone. Extra point, Graham Gano. 24 to 20. Giants lead it. Ravens will have a minute 43 24. Ravens 20. The word that comes to mind for the Giants is belief. From the head coach, the players building chemistry over the first six weeks of the season. And a chance to move to 5-1, and one. but now they have to deal with a special talent, Lamar Jackson of the Baltimore offense. They'll have it at the 25. Saturday, the SEC on CBS features Lane Kiffin leading his seventh-ranked Ole Miss Rebels in the Death Valley showdown with LSU. Day begins at 2.30 with... Our team on the drive to Atlanta. College football today. That's Saturday. The SEC is on CBS. That's a big rivalry in the SEC. Ole Miss playing awfully well right now. LSU got back on the beam with a big win over Florida last night. But you go back to that sequence. Baltimore wanted to stop them with the three timeouts. But when the score happened, if you're going to have them score, best possible scenario. Never used a timeout. Got all three available here. Jackson from the gun. Slings it. Dropped. Robinson with Moreau there. Stay tuned. NFL Today update delivered by Little Caesars. Time permitting. JB and the gang. Scores. Highlights. All coming up. Also, two Baltimore penalties. Huge ones. One on offense, one on defense, leading them to this situation. Never should have been in it. They picked up the first down on the offensive penalty and ended up getting called back and having the bad play after that. If I'm the Giants, there's no way I'm letting Mark Andrews out without two people near him. Dime package on second and ten. Jackson loses the ball. Pop free. The ball still rolling around. The Giants jump on it. Thibodeau with the strip. Big blue with a big play. Leonard Williams comes away with it. And the Giants did exactly as they should have. They bracketed Mark Andrews and took down away from Lamar Jackson. His safety blanket had no one there. There's Thibodeau, the rookie out of Oregon, who is a bright lights guy, big time player, wants the pressure in the key situations. He comes through at the best possible time for the Giants. But again, Lamar Jackson wanting his number one receiver. He wasn't available due to double coverage. And for Wink number Martindale, the former defensive coordinator, of the Baltimore Ravens, tick tack doe for this Giants D. Ball security, ball security, ball security. Ready? First down inside the 15. Barkley goes down. Now inside the 10 with a minute 24 left. Ravens, three timeouts remaining. They'll use one of them. The New York Giants have been probably the biggest surprise in the NFL through the first five games. They're 4-1. and one. Nobody expected it. 
an opportunity to move to 5-1 and one against a high-quality team, the Baltimore Ravens. What the Giants have done in the second half of games, particularly the fourth quarter this season, is a testament to their coaching staff and how far they've come in such a short period of time. No question about it. And they are a team that got comfortable with late-game situations, fourth quarter, Leads, non-leads that are close in a very short amount of time. Extra offensive lineman handed off. Barkley spin move. He should go down after the first down, and he will. Smart football from Barkley and the Giants. With a minute 17 left, Baltimore cannot win this game. He's open to play as the first down for the Giants. Teams talk to us all the time about situational football. No better example than understanding the situation and then executing it under pressure. If he goes into the end zone, you give the Ravens a chance. Right. Now, no chance. Baltimore has one timeout remaining. There's a minute 17 on the clock. The Giants will line up in victory formation. And these teams that have beaten, that have beat, that have lost to the Giants, many of them have gone back to their facilities and thought, we have a better roster, we have a better team. But they have not executed well down the stretch. While this Giants team, with a so-called lesser roster, has done exactly that. NFL Today update delivered by Little Caesars is Multiple coming up, time permitting. Third and final timeout. Final timeout seconds. called by the Ravens. The New York Giants are a minute 13 away from improving to 5-1 and one on the season. No more NFC least, is there? Think about that division. Philadelphia still undefeated as we talk now. Dallas, one loss. Giants, one loss. What a division. Buffalo at Kansas City coming up next. Wink Martindale, what a feeling for him. Ten years with the Ravens organization. And his defense made the biggest plays down the stretch. Baltimore, two turnovers in the last three minutes. But so unavoidable if you just know how to line up correctly. That's what killed him, a penalty on third down. Forced him into another play, and that, that affected the ball game. An unlikely story being written in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Brian Dable and the New York Giants are now 5-1 and one on the season. They rally to knock off the Ravens 24-20. to 20. What a turnaround for this organization. Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, they do enough on the offensive end, and the defense delivers. Julian Love with the interception to help get it started. And then the fumble recovery for New York to win it 24-20, to 20, the final for Charles Davis, Evan Washburn, Gene Steratore, Ian Eagle saying.